mic check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The number of perfection. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, DJ Def, back again with another reaction. Or should I say, it's my first reaction. Bear with me, point of order. I know my quality is not great, and I know my audio is not fantastic. I do have a camera. I do have a shotgun mic. For some reason, it's just not wanting to work right now, and I'm trying to figure that out. But right now, I'm just trying to get my videos pushed out there, so please bear with me, okay? If you want to comment down below and roast me about how bad my quality of my camera is or my mic, have at it. Ain't no shame in my game. I ain't tripping about it. But currently, I got to use the camera that I have for my computer and the mic for my computer until I can get my camera and shotgun working. So please, please bear with me. But you guys didn't come here for that. Y'all came here to watch this reaction video. So without further ado, let's take some action. So the title of this video, or rather the story, um, and also another point of order, I did see this being reacted by another YouTuber, although I did not see the video, I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna do a reaction myself so it can be real and authentic. So yes, this is my real and authentic opinion based on this story of this young man, um, mother's only fan. So let's get to it. I'm 13 and my mom is 33, which means they're 20 years apart. Wow. Very similar to my mother as well. You know, she had me around 20 years old, I believe. So, yeah. Things at school were never great. I'm sort of short, so I get picked on some, but it was manageable. That was until one of my classmates showed me a picture of my mom naked. That's tough, man. That's tough. I can only imagine what this young man is going through, but let's continue. I almost had a panic attack. And had to be excused from the classroom. I, entered, I ended up not showing up to school for a few days, faking sick. I ain't gonna lie, I would have did the same thing. I mean, seeing my mother naked, that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. So, smart. Like, smart. Now... I was hoping that things would cool off, but they didn't. As soon as I got to school, almost everyone in my classroom was staring and laughing at me. <sighs> High school all over it again. Dang. Let me, before I continue... Kids, for anyone that is in high school, for anyone that might be going to that particular school, please stop making fun of this kid. Because if your parent was doing this very same thing and people was laughing at you, you wouldn't want that. At the end of the day, I know for at least my mother, she told me or taught me Treat people the way that you would want them to treat you. So if you're being put in a situation like that, you wouldn't want someone making fun of you, so why would you make fun of them? I get it, they're kids, but just come on, think. You're in high school. You're almost about to become an adult. Eventually, you're seven years away from becoming an adult. So if he's 13, I'm pretty sure most of his classmates are 13, 12, 14. 
think smarter. But let's continue. So it says this has been going on for about a week now. I was wondering how my classmates even got the pictures and apparently my mom advertises her only fans on her personal Twitter account, which is a public account. Like, I can't even, man, I can't even make words of this. But some students from my school follow her so they were able to see the nudes and they have been spreading everywhere like a wildfire. Like seriously, like a wildfire. That's ridiculous. But let's continue. I don't even have a Twitter, so I didn't even know about any of this. The worst part. Damn, it's getting even worse. The worst part is when I confronted my mother about this, she told me that I was overreacting and that Sex work is basically the same as working at a bank or grocery store. I'm about to unleash up in here. A bank or a grocery store. That's what you're comparing sex work to. If I was a banker or an associate at a grocery store, I would feel disrespected right now. Especially if I'm a banker. Because how does sex work compare to being a banker? It doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. Like, I can't even, I don't see the comparison. I really don't see the comparison. But the fact that she has the audacity to, to, to say this to her son, I can see if you just be honest with it and say, look, son, this is what I'm doing to make money, to put food in your mouth, to put, you know, uh, a, a roof over your head, clothes on your back. I'm trying to make it through so I can take care of you because daddy ain't there or whatever it may be. But the fact that you put fuel on the fire, okay? You put fuel on the fire by saying that sex work is compared to being a banker. That's beyond me. That's, that's beyond me. But let's continue. She also said it makes her feel good about herself and that I should be happy that she's more confident now. <laughs> so women need, or rather for her, she needs validation from other people that she don't even know. She needs validation from other people she don't even know just to make her feel good and confident about herself. That's the world we live in today. You need to seek other people's validation just to make you happy inside. That's sad. And she's rubbing all of this into her son. She's basically manipulating him. She's saying, son, why aren't you happy for me? Because I'm happy for myself now. I have people that's willing to pay money for my nude. What sense does that make? That's sad, man. That's sad. 
But let's continue. I told the principal they can't suspend. I'm sorry. I told the principal, but they can't suspend thousands of students or take anyone's phones. I mean, I can see that, especially if he's going to a big school. Um, most predominantly all white schools, private schools have a lot of kids. I even went to a predominantly all white school. We had about 2,500 to 3,000 kids, and I can only imagine, like, if I was put in that position, how many people would have found out and made fun of me. So I get what he's saying right there. He obviously is going to some big school that has a large population of students. Um, but it says, I've been crying in my room every day for the past week. I don't think I can take it anymore. I'm going to read that last sentence again. I've been crying in my room every day for the past week. I don't think I can take it anymore. So I'm going to break this down into parts. I'm going to talk to the mother. I'm going to talk to the son. And again, I'm going to talk to the kids that either go to the school or anyone that does not go to the school that has tried making fun of him. Whether they're watching this video, another video about this story, or whatever. The first part is the mother. She should feel absolutely ashamed of herself. If she is seeing this video, I, I'm speaking as if I'm talking to her. She should absolutely feel disgusted, embarrassed, just ashamed. Because that is foul. That is absolutely foul. And 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 I get it. Most women, they're the nurturers, they're the provide, you know, I won't say providers, but they're the nurturers, they're the caring women, you know, they, they take care of their children, they buy them every step of the way. So a lot of times they get full custody if the parents separate. But just like women want to push on men about how they're so uh, 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 shitty, if you will, women, mothers are also the same. Because that is absolutely embarrassing. Like, embarrassing. She should be 100% unequivocally ashamed of herself. That's first and foremost. Secondly, she's not fit to be a mother if this is what she is doing. Because she got to understand, it's one thing if your child was young. It's another thing that your child is going from middle school to high school. Okay? He's growing up. And the kids that he's around is also growing up. And so when you put something out like this, these kids are smart. Around this time is when kids start watching porn and other things. How do I know this? Because I'm a boy, first and foremost. And for two, I grew up in high school. They were doing the same thing. I remember being in the football locker room and boys, is just that's when I was introduced to it. You know, boys on the phone just cracking up laughing at a porn video. So because of that, you have to understand and think to yourself as a mother, okay, I can't continue this because his friends or kids that go to his school is obviously going to make fun of him if they encounter 
what I have posted. But she didn't think that. She's being selfish and thinking about her rather than her child. Now, for the son, for the young man, you have a long life to live. If you're watching this video at this moment, you have a long life to live. Do not allow your mother to control your situation to cause you to commit suicide. Please don't allow your mother to do that. Now, you were being a bigger person and trying to at least come to your mother and confront her and say, yo, ma, what is this? Like, why are you doing this? And she tried to manipulate you to get you to feel happy for her which is shameful, but you smarter than that. You understand, okay? So don't allow her to control what you do with yourself in your life. Use this as a learning experience, okay? Unfortunately, you have to go through a huge obstacle in life early on at 13. That's big. That's big. And if you can overcome this, have the mentality that you can be able to overcome anything in life. Okay? You have a long life ahead of you. I pray for you, young man. I pray that you succeed out into this world and that you can overcome this obstacle. One setback is always set for a major comeback. Always understand that, young man. Now, for the kids, for anyone that's cyberbullying him, leave him alone. Like, I'm being just straight up with you. Because again, you wouldn't want someone to treat you that way, so why would you treat them that way? Specifically this young man. Nobody wants to see their mother Naked. Nobody wants to hear that their mother is out selling her body for money. No man, no boy, no young man wants to see that. Even if he's a grown man, no person wants to see that. Their own mother without clothes on. And y'all making fun of him. So I ask, please, just stop. Just stop. Leave this young man alone. Because this is, I can only imagine what he's going through. I can only imagine how traumatic this event is for him. So I just ask, leave him alone. I cannot stress that enough. And for anyone else that understand where I'm coming from and that feel for this young man, Please shoot a prayer out for him. And, and there's one more thing I would like to bring up before I actually end this video. I think personally, this young man, if he has a relationship with his father, I would strongly consider going back to the principal, bringing this attention to the principal about your own mother and see if there's a possibility that you can seek, you know, advice from the principal, help, assistance from the principal to a judge to be able to get you transferred over to your father if you have a good relationship with your father. If this is so traumatic that you just cannot see and even stand to look at your mother's face right now. Think about it. And if you are okay with doing that, if I was you, I would, I would go that route. Or maybe live in my auntie's house or uncle's house for a minute. So I can't get rid of this mess. Because this... Like I said, I can only imagine what you're going through, young man. I can only imagine. And if you at it, seek counseling. Counseling helps. 
Counseling can definitely help you try to overcome this obstacle that you are facing too. So counseling, reach out to your principal and see what you can do about getting transferred over because the decision that your mother has made is just absolutely egregious. Other than that, please, if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and get my video out into future viewers into um, the suggestion, you know, uh, area of the YouTube algorithm so more people can see my video. So please, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. It would really greatly mean a lot to me. Honestly, it really would. Other than that, without that, that's it. That's all I pretty much have at this point. So, I like to say this. I would like to say this at the end of my video. People want to know what DJ Def means. And Def means determination, effective, and fortitude. That's what Def stands for. Determination, effective, and fortitude. So, at the end of every video, I'm going to say that. Stay determined. Be effective. And have the fortitude to go through anything, no matter what. Because you can be anything you put your mind to it. You can be anything if you put your mind to it and you take action. You can believe, but you can't believe into existence. You have to take action in order to get to where you want to be. So, I'll leave that with you guys. Until next time. Let's get it.